Happy anniversary and wedding day, sweetheart. I've thought of this moment for so long and I can't believe this day has finally arrived. I'm completely overwhelmed with gratitude as I sit here reflecting on the past four years that we've spent together, on how much we've grown both individually and as a couple. I remember when you proposed to me, you didn't just ask me to marry you, you asked me to spend the rest of my life with you. John, you're my best friend, my most unexpected gift, and my biggest adventure. I love you and I can't wait to spend the rest of my days, both good and bad, by your side. See you at the altar, my love. Summer. God himself instituted marriage in a time of man's innocence, a time when man's relationship with his creator was not separated because of man's sin. God said everything was good and man was very good. But he said one thing is not good. He said it is not good for man to be alone. So for this reason, a man shall leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. Now, I've known John since our freshman year of high school. Some of my best memories from high school is when him and I would be at his parents' house on the floor of his bedroom writing songs, or in the dining room playing video games on the computer, or at our best friend Dylan's house, who I know would be here cracking jokes and having a good time with us. John's just a huge goofball. We've been through a lot together. I know his good side, his bad side, and Summerlin, I hope that you still love him through that. Before we go any further, we're going to take a moment of silence uh, because there are people that are significant in both John and Summerlin's life that, that shaped them into who they are and, and who aren't here in this moment. So if you will, let's take a moment uh, to just silently remember John's grandparents, his best friend, and Summerlin's grandfather. Summerlin and I have been friends for, for 18 years. Summerlin has been not only my, my partner in crime, but sincerely my greatest inspiration. A woman whose beauty truly shines from both the inside and the out. It's these qualities and many more that Summerlin has perhaps been the greatest role model I've ever had. And I truly wouldn't be the person I am today if I hadn't met my now best friend and bonus sister. I hope that the both of you have the happiest of lives together. A big home, children running around, everything is perfect. Even though it won't always be. I know the two of you will make it through it though. You're both strong. Dear Summerlin, to tell you that I'm happy and excited about today is an understatement to the true emotions I'm feeling right now. You and I have been through so much together since we've met, and I'm so grateful for all of it. You have such a beautiful, uplifting, and warm soul. You're such a strong-hearted and iron-willed woman, and I truly am the luckiest man in the entire universe to be marrying you. I cannot express enough how excited I am for those doors to open, to see my stunning bride walk down the aisle to me, to start our new life and brand new family. As for John, I recognized how, how sensitive and caring he was, and I think we all saw a bit of that earlier today and felt very touched by that. It made me realize that my best friend had someone that was loving and, and caring and would treasure her compassionate spirit. You are the greatest partner and best friend I could ever ask for, and I'm so excited to spend my life with such a beautiful angel by my side. I promise to always choose you, to always be open and honest with you, and cherish you for as long as we both shall live. By the authority given to me as a minister of Jesus Christ and the laws of this state, I now pronounce you husband and wife in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. This service is ended and you may kiss your wife.
It is now my great pleasure to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Summerlin and John Chambers. So with that being said, I'd like to take a moment to raise a glass to the newlyweds and bless them and wish them a true happily ever after. Cheers. I just know I'm crazy about you.